Hello guys, lady, welcome back to audio book. Now that you take taken the quizzes, you can probably see if any of these belief well in the mind. If you check two or more items in the field of change, quiz you probably get scared at the thought of changing. If you check two or more items from the underlying and deserving belief quiz, you may feel that you don't deserve the good thing that could come to you if you were to change. If you check two or more items from unfair and just believe quiz, you may dwell on how much, how you are suffering that you had trouble muscling the resources for making change. If by change you check two or more items in two or more quizzes, well, you have a little work cut out, of, out for you. It's not your fault if you hold any of this chain blocking belief. People pick up on this idea on children and through dramatic events at any time in their life. And some challenge, some chain blocking beliefs have a tight of draft to them. For, for instance, life is often unfair. It is reasonable sometimes to feel a little angry. You can't always succeed. However, people deserve to feel happy, including you. You can succeed in the thing you do, and you can move past the bad thing that have happened to you. Even if you experience horrific trauma, moving on doesn't diminish the significance of what you experience. Getting better simply makes you more powerful and allow you to live again. Jasmine, a mother, we worry all the time. As a child, she was sexually abused by a babysitter now. She tends to be overly protective of her own children. Lately, she bit she painfully her youngest child, her asthma, and Jasmine finds herself listening to the child bad things throughout the night. She panics when her middle child is late from school. Her oldest son is a uh, a change student in another country and rarely call home. So image of him being hurt and kidnapped flowed through Jasmine's mind throughout the day. The doctor is concerned about her rising blood pressure, so Jasmine decides to work on her anxiety and stress. She takes the three chain blocking belief quizzes present earlier in this section and discovers a variety of chain, chain blocking belief. Although the fear and undeserving belief predominant, she then feel in the top three chain blocking belief summary. When you can see in the book sheet 3.4, book sheet 3.4, Jasmine top three chain blocking belief summary. When I try something new, I manage to screw it up. Number two, every time I get my hope up, I disappoint it. Okay, so this is the problem of uh, Jasmine, the yeah, top three, top three, top three chain blocking belief. Okay, number three, I feel guilty asking you need one for help, so I rather not. Let Jasmine shut down her reflection on about the exercise and chain blocking belief. She and identify in the summary. She works it. C point five. Book at 3.5, just mean reflection. I can see that I do have some of these chain blocking belief. I guess I always thought that this is just the way my life is. But now that I reflect on it, I guess I can see how these beliefs could get in the way of doing something about my problems. Nothing is going to change if I hold on tightly to those assumptions, but what can I do about them? In the next section, Jasmine see what she can do about her problematic belief. But before just jumping to her reflection, try filling out your own top three chain blocking belief. Summary in worksheet 3.6, go back to the three chain blocking belief quizzes and look at the item you check. Then write down the three beliefs that seem to be the most uh, troubling and the most likely to get in the way of your ability to make change. 
So you write down here, you know, worksheet 3.6, okay, my top three chain blocking belief summary, okay. So what, what do you believe that you, you can change, okay, about the blocking belief that is considered to be the barrier in the mind for long, okay. So you write down here, one, two, three. In worksheet C.7, jot down your reflection about the belief, what have you learned? Do you think the belief are helping you or getting in your way? Write down anything that come to mind. Worksheet 3.7, my reflection. Okay, so you write down here about your reflection. Plotting should believe blocking your path. After completing the exercises in the last section, you should have an idea of which chain blocking belief may be holding up your progress. If you try to make changes in the past and fail, it's very likely that one or more deep belief are responsible. Unfortunately, reading yourself of such problematic belief, each and RDC are sweeping them out the door if more than a matter of knowing what they are and declaring that you no, no longer believe in them. Fortunately, we have some tools to help you revise your way of thinking. Changing belief requires that you appreciate and understand the extent to which your assumption comfortable for you. If you only just now discover what your beliefs are, you can't be expected to fully understand the pros and cons associated with them. We find that analyzing advantages and disadvantages have achieved the insight. Just mean fill out an analyzing advantages and disadvantages form. See book 3.8 in order to more fully comprehend how her chain blocking belief affect her. She start by writing down the reason her chain blocking belief feel good and advantages to her. Next she write about how it believe give her problem in other words how it stand in her way finally she review about list very carefully and write down her conclusion. She fill out the form for each belief in her top three chain blocking belief summary. The sample only include analysis of two Jasmine belief. Okay, so now guys, you look at book 60.8, Jasmine analyzing advantage and disadvantage form. So you can take the RC model in order to write down what you have in your mind, especially relevant to chain blocking belief. Okay. So chain blocking belief number one, whenever I try something new, I may need to screw it up, okay? Advantages of deep belief, okay? Disadvantages of deep belief. So now it goes through advantages of deep belief with me all together. If I don't try, I don't have to risk failing, okay? I don't have to go through the effort, change is a lot of work. I don't know why, but change is scary and they believe keep me from dealing with that fear. Okay, so this is about the advantages of belief, yeah, of adjustment. Okay, and what about disadvantage of deep belief? Okay, this mean I can never succeed either. They believe keep me feeling miserable. I miss out on opportunity by clinging to deep belief. It's just possible that even if I do fail, I could end up learning something useful for my life. The view simply keep me stuck. Chain blocking belief number two. I feel guilty asking someone for help, so I rather not. Advantage of this belief. I don't expect anyone to help me, so I don't end up disappointed. People don't have to worry about me leaning on them. I don't worry anyone because they never know when I'm upset. Advantage disadvantage of this belief. I don't get the chance to share my worry with anyone. I don't get as close to people as I could. When I'm really upset, I get quiet, and people sometimes think I'm angry when I am not. Sometimes, anyone need a little help from others, and I'm at disadvantage when I don't see, seek it. After completing her analysis advantages and disadvantages form, Jasmine take some time to reflect. She consider whether the disadvantages she listed are uh, truly advantages conclude that her original chain blocking belief are uh, causing her more harm than good. She then write down her reflection in worksheet 3.9. Okay. 
So guys, ready for this video, I would like to finish at this point and see you next video. Thank you so much for your watch listening and don't forget to have subscribe in order to get more videos easily. Thank you.